Thank you guys for joining me. This is Sam Street from Street Smart Services, Small Engine Repair in Fredericksburg, Virginia. You can also find me on my website at Street Smart Services LLC.com. So I have a lawnmower here that is from the 50s. It was my grandfather's. And I had it hanging up in my garage here for probably 10 years. Um, when I put it away, I didn't do anything special. It's never had ethanol gas in it. Um, <clears throat> I decided to take it down because the business is kind of slow now. Um, and uh, I, I flushed the tank out. There was nothing in it. There was no rust, but I just flushed it out. Um, put non-ethanol fuel in it uh, with the 40 to 1 mixture. It's a two-cycle. Um, and uh, I had the fuel petcock open. Um, it's, uh, it's not leaking any gas. Um, took the air filter cover off to find out which way the choke worked. Because um, you couldn't tell. Uh, made sure spark plug was clean, that kind of stuff. So this is going to be the first startup. This thing is about 70 years old. Um, I believe it's a Sears. Um, it's a Dunlap is the name brand. So it's got the old rope. you got to wrap the rope around the... Uh, around the uh, flywheel. So we're going to give it a shot and see. Uh, this is going to be my first YouTube video. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more that's going to kind of give you maintenance tips and stuff like that and um, uh, you know just some preventative maintenance stuff on lawnmowers and generators and snowblowers and that kind of stuff. So I got the choke on now. We're going to see if we can get this thing going. Like I said, I know it's been 10 years since it ran, uh, but we'll see what we got. Probably had to do it a few times. And it might not start. I don't know, but we'll see. I'm hoping it does. It's going to be cool if it does. I'm excited. Now I'm just going to, this time I will, I'll fog the engine and I'm going to hang it back on the wall. Um, once I get it running. We'll get it running. I don't want to try to start it ahead of time. Alright, I think it's going to go this time, guys. After I get it running, I'm going to give you guys a close-up so you can kind of see what it is. So you can kind of see what it looks like up close and all right getting nervous I said she's old got good compression though Keep trying. There's a little knob that's on the side of the carburetor, which I believe it's it's kind of a, a air fuel mixture ratio control. Um, so I've been playing with that to see if that changes anything. All right, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it right now. Or not. There might be a part two to this video. There it is. Did y'all hear that? Alright. I know my cousin had it running ten years ago. Uh, when it was given to me, I just hung it on the wall. Let's see what we got. We got something going on, don't we? Alright, there might not be a part two, but this might just be a part one.
I don't know what else to say other than that was pretty cool. Um, definitely smells in here now. I'm going to have to open the door. So, we got it running. Ten years. Like I said, I didn't try to start it ahead of time. If I had, it would probably start right up. I wouldn't have had to mess with it. Um, remember, you guys can find me on Street Smart Services LLC.com. You can also email me at Street Smart Services LLC at gmail.com. Uh, we're a local lawnmower repair shop. We work on ride mowers and lawnmowers and generators and snow blowers and pressure washers, a bunch of different stuff. You can also find me on Google if you look up Street Smart Services. Um, LLC lawnmower repair. Um, uh, other than that, I appreciate you guys letting me share this video with you. Um, my grandfather would be proud. Um, I'm sure he never had any problems with this thing, but uh, pretty remarkable. Like I said, I'm going to fog it down. I'm going to hang it back on the wall and uh, and enjoy looking at it. And uh, I'll have more videos I will post. Thank you guys.